In this video we will use the QGIS software to produce a map that allows us to easily see which districts in Portugal have the highest property prices by evaluating the average value per square meter. We will therefore first analyze the map and then we will follow the steps to create this map with the open source mapping software which is the QGIS software. Before you start, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. When we look at this map, we notice several things. First of all, real estate prices in the south of the country are very high. Indeed, if we look at this part of the territory, we can see the most expensive prices per square meter in all of Portugal. In particular the district of Lisboa with 3,773 euros as the average price per square meter for purchase. We also have that of Faro with around 2,710 euros the average price per square meter. This could be explained by the presence of the capital in the south of the country and therefore a strong economic, tourist but also political attractiveness in this southern part of the territory. Then, when we go up the west coast, on the Atlantic coast, we notice that the average price per square meter is still very high in certain places in the west of the country. In this area, the highest prices are in the districts of Porto with around 2,389 euros per square meter for purchase. The district, lower but still higher than a large number of districts in the country, has an average price per square meter of 1,486 euros. Proximity to the ocean is undoubtedly the main reason why the territories located to the northwest have a particularly high real estate cost. Finally, the territories which are not fortunate enough to have direct access to the ocean and therefore have no maritime border, these territories have a much lower and much more affordable real estate cost compared to the south and the west of Portugal. In these districts located in the northeast, we find for example Portalager which has an average square meter of 581 euros for purchase. We can also mention the district of Guarda with an average square meter of 685 euros. We can now take an interest in the construction of this map by following the different steps. To produce this map, it is first necessary to recover the data relating to the real estate prices of each portion of the Portuguese territory and to group them in an Excel table, which is saved in CSV format. Then retrieve the base map, so the layer that represents the map of the districts of Portugal. Open the software and access the Open Data Source Manager. Insert the vector layer of the districts of Portugal. Return to the same Open Data Source Manager tab and this time insert the table present in the CSV file created with the Excel software. Double-click on the Portugal District's layer in the Layers menu on the left. Go to the Joins menu and add a new join. Attach the corresponding entities and apply to the document. Go to the Symbology tab and choose the graduated representation type. Choose the entities to represent, here real estate prices, and classify the representation. We obtain five correctly distributed classes. We click on OK. We have therefore represented our data and we are going to export our map. We go to the project menu and to the new print layout tab. Give a title. Add the map and the legend. We change the background to make it transparent. We save our result as an image and we export. We obtain an image in PNG format that we can analyze. 
Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you. See you soon.